everyone. Welcome to church. Look, Sunny, our friends are here. Would you like to say hi? Oh, who would like to say hi to Sunny? Hi, Baker. Oh, hi, Gregory. Hi, Rory. Oh, there's Miles. No, wait, that's Ari. Hi, Ar No, wait, that's Ari. Oh, hi, Miles and Ari. Oh, it's great to see you guys. What's that? Why am I sitting under an umbrella? Oh, yes, that's a good question. See, we had a storm this week. And Sunny was very scared, but she feels safer when we're underneath the umbrella. But I don't know if I feel safer. I sort of feel like somebody's looking at me. Hmm. But I know who's always watching me. God is. Shall we go over to Tapiwa and sing our special song? Hello, boys and girls. We are the Muru family. I'm Tapiwa. I'm Emmanuel. I'm Daniel. And this is Tamara. Today we are going to sing God Can See Me. Can you join us? God can see me. God can see me. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. God can see me. God can see me. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. God can see me, God can see me, yes he can, yes he can, God can see me, God can see me, yes he can, yes he can, yes he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes. Bye. Bye. Thanks Tafua, that was lovely. Now, I've heard that some of you guys are singing that song too. Should we go look in Becca's house? Thanks, Becca. That was such good singing. That makes me want to sing too. Shall we go do some praise and worship? When I sit down, God knows when I stand up, God knows when I jump and jump and hop. God knows when I'm sleeping, God knows when I wake up, God knows when I run and run and stop. Our God can see from far away, He watches over us each day, He knows the thoughts inside our heads and all our words before they're said. God knows when I sit down, God knows when I stand up, God knows when I jump and jump and hop, jump, jump, hop. God knows when I'm sleeping, God knows when I wake up, God knows when I run and run and stop, stop. Our God can see from far away, He watches over us each day, He knows the thoughts inside our heads and all our words before they're said. When I sit down, God knows when I stand up, God knows when I jump and jump and hop, Whoa. God knows when I'm sleeping, God knows when I wake up, God knows when I run and run and stop. Oh, time for sleep now, God knows. This one, you just be up on your feet, we're going to do some actions. We're going to carry on with our story now. And do you remember, we've been learning that God is a kind God. Let's go over to the Quipman family and hear our memory verse again. Hi everyone. We are the Quipman family. 
My name is Melvin. I'm Anaya. And I'm Kayla. I'm Shane. And I'm Luca. And my name is Hendika. And we, we go. That's right, Shane. We go to Jubilee and Observatory. And today we're going to do Jonah 4 verse 2 again, just like last week. You are a kind God. You always show love. Jonah 4 verse 2. You are a kind God. You always show love. Jonah 4 verse 2. Now we hand over to Lee for the story. Yeah. Thank you, Cookman family, for reminding us of our memory verse. My name is Lee Fredericks, and my family and I attend Jubilee Community Church in Observatory. Today, we're continuing with our story about Jonah. And look, here he is, looking very grumpy. Can any of you remember why Jonah was so grumpy? That's right, Jonah was grumpy because he didn't want to tell the people of Nineveh that God cared about them. So let's see what he did instead. Jonah said to himself, those people of Nineveh are horrible, terrible, abominable, unforgivable, and they deserve to be punished. And so he jumped on a ship and sailed away in the opposite direction. Do you think God could see Jonah when he tried to run away and hide from God? Yes, he could. As Jonah slept on the boat, God sent a huge howling hurricane. The sailors were horrified, terrified, petrified, jellified. So they woke Jonah up. It's all my fault, said Grumpy Jonah. You'd better throw me into the sea. The sailors didn't want Jonah to drown, but they did as they were told, and they hurled Jonah into the raging sea. Do you think God could see Jonah when he was in the scary storm? Yes, he could. But after they threw Jonah into the sea, the storm disappeared. The sea was calm, quiet, still, and peaceful. The sailors were saved and they said thank you to God. But God had not finished with Jonah just yet. Gulp, jump, nom nom, burp. Where is Jonah now? Can you see him? Look, there are his hands. He's inside a big fish. God sent a very big fish that swallowed Jonah whole. And Jonah sat for three whole days in the belly of the fish. Do you think God could see Jonah when he was inside that big fish? Yes, he could. Let's have a look at Jonah inside the fish and see what happens to him next. Oh no, look at Jonah. He is safe inside the fish, but I think he looks very sad for not listening to God. Do you think he's feeling lonely in there too? Jonah realized how wrong he'd been. He said, I've been witless, brainless, mindless, senseless. It's up to God who he saves, not me. Does God see us when we are feeling sad? Yes, he does. Does God see us when we're feeling lonely? Yes, he does. Do you think God can see us when no one else can? Yes, he can. And you know, while Jonah was inside the fish's tummy, he talked to God and he said sorry to God. And God listened, and then something amazing happened. The big fish spat Jonah out on dry land. And look at him there. He is 
all stinky and covered in fish bones, but his heart has changed. Hi boys and girls. I have a surprise for you now. I've made my own big fish that I can climb inside of to talk to God. Would you like to see it? Have a look. There it is. Look at its big tail and its very big mouth. But it does have a friendly eye. I'm going to climb inside it now. All right. Here I am. I'm inside the tummy of my big fish. And it's actually really cozy in here. You know, no one could see Jonah when he was inside the belly of his big fish. But God could. God could see that Jonah was sorry and he forgave him. God loved Jonah so much that he kept him safe and he helped Jonah to change his heart. Maybe you could find a special place in your house to sit and chat to God. You could thank God that he sees you wherever you are. You could say sorry to God if there are things that you've done wrong. And you can ask God to help you change your heart and become more like him. And when you're finished, you could even jump out of your special place just like when Jonah was spat out of the whale's tummy. So let's pray together now. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you see us and you love us wherever we are. You love us when we're feeling sad. You love us when we're feeling happy. You love us when we're feeling lonely. You love us when we are good you even love us when we've been bad. And you are always ready to forgive us when we say sorry. Thank you, Jesus, that you love to help us to become more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Lee, Tapua, and Copeman family. That was so special. Whoa, I'm glad I wasn't Jonah in today's story. Now, if you want to remember this story during the week, there are some activities that you can do at home. Firstly, you can make your own whale fort. You can take some blankets and drape them over chairs and make a cozy little whale cave for yourself. And then you can play in it and pretend to be Jonah. You could even sit in your whale and talk to God and remember the story. You could also make a whale out of a paper plate like this and draw little Jonah inside it. And of course you can always practice your memory verse. Now if you have any pictures or videos that you'd like to send us, ask mommy or daddy to send them to this number. And I wonder if any of you have had birthdays since we've been in lockdown. If you have, you can always send us a picture. Maybe you'd like to hold up your fingers to tell us how old you are now. That would be lovely. Cool. I'll see you again next week, guys. Have a great week. Bye.